Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Henry. Well, I guess Shawn Michaels doesn't believe in Joe Hendry. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Quick reaction here. The good news is that Joe Hendry appeared. He made his debut in NXT. The bad news is he got eliminated immediately in the 25 over the top rope battle royal so yeah the nxt review will be coming tomorrow but quickly just wanted to make a video here my reaction to joe henry in nxt so his music plays the titan thrones there i believe in joe henry the crowd are going the crowd are jumping right this has to be probably i think this might be the biggest pop i can remember in NXT history, or at least in recent terms. You compare this to the pop that Cody Rhodes got last week. I mean, this blew Cody Rhodes out the fucking park. Joe Hendry comes down. Everyone's clapping. Then Joe Hendry cuts a good promo about how Cody said it was a 25-man battle royal, but it's not. It's 24 men and one sensation. And Joe Hendry is going to bring the NXT Championship home to TNA. And what happens? He gets his ass thrown it straight away. Eliminate it first. And Javon Evans goes on to win it. First of all, Javon Evans sucks, okay? This is a Wesley look-alike. Why is this guy getting a world title shot at Heatwave? We know he ain't going to win. He's a nobody. He's a bum. Why are we not actually showcasing Joe Hendry here? Why can't Joe Hendry get a push? Why can't Joe Hendry get a title shot? We've seen Jordana Grace come in and she was allowed to face Roxanne Perez for the women's title. But Joe Hendry comes in. Does he get a title shot? No, he gets chucked out. But people will claim Shawn Michaels is cooking. How? How? Joe Hendry. Crowd are going mental. Crowd are excited. Crowd are pumped. We cannot believe he's finally here. And you throw his ass out straight away. What a chance to make a big impact here. TNA. Impact. Cross the line. Pun intended. Well, Shawn Michaels, you crossed the line tonight. You one-eyed, wonky bastard. You are not cooking. You are not a head chef. You and Triple H couldn't work at McDonald's. Never mind cook up shit. It's garbage, man. It's fucking garbage. Big opportunity. Joe Hendry comes in. Nah, we don't want to give you that. We don't want to push Joe Hendry like the star that he is. We don't want to have Joe Hendry versus Trick Williams. Hell no. We don't even give Joe Hendry a good run. He doesn't even get like a decent appearance in the match. He gets eliminated straight away. What a way to totally just kill off the hype. They didn't bring Jordana Grace in and have her lose to Stevie Turner before taking on Roxanne. No, they didn't do that. There was a reason why. Because somebody, if you want to try and get somebody over, you have to book them strong from the get-go. Joe Hendry comes out and gets eliminated straight away, man. What an absolute joke. What an absolute joke, guys. Pissed off with this. I mean, whatever. People claiming Shawn Michaels is what? What is he cooking? I mean, seriously, what is Shawn Michaels cooking? And I'm saying this, and Shawn Michaels is, make no mistake about it, he's in my top two of all time between him and Austin. I, I'm a Shawn Michaels guy, but as a booker, I mean, he ain't cooking shit, all right? What he's doing right now is, is bang average. Sometimes there's a few things on NXT I like. People are making out as if Shawn Michaels is giving us Attitude Era level stuff on NXT. And you know what? He's not. He's not. It's just a bunch of matches. That, that's what we get. You know, it's a bunch of rookies wrestling each other. Not many characters left. Pretty much most of the good people left in the brand split. Or the, the draft. I mean, Shawn Michaels ain't cooking. Henry could have cooked, but they didn't give him the chance. Henry showed up and they says, Nah, you know what? We ain't turning the cooker on. We ain't giving you any ingredients. We're sending you home. It, it just sucks, honestly. Does Joe Henry need to win? Does he need to get the title shot? No. But does he have to be eliminated so early? So quickly? No, no he does not. Yeah, it would remind you of some, like, Santino Morella elimination from, like, a Royal Rumble. I mean, just a piss take, guys. Anyway, it was cool to see Joe Henry in NXT, even though it didn't last long. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, peace.